This is a block of Elegantissima arborvitaes. Normally the deer don't eat these. You don't see much browse damage. But rubbing is the critical problem here. Every tree in this block will be ruined by the deer by the end of this year or next year. There is a tremendous population of deer in this area this year. In other years we haven't had such a population problem, but this year it seems to be exceptionally bad. Here as well, the cryptomeria over here, we had over 150 of them planted in this block over here next to the Elegantissima, and not one is going to make it to market. We do allow hunters here at Highland Hill Farm, and you can see the reason for the problem here. We have a lot of open space, we're next to a park, and there's plenty of food. In this field right here, there's soybeans. In the next field over, there's corn. There's nice hedgerows for them to sleep in and hide in, so they have plenty of cover, food, and water is just about 100 yards down into the woods. There's several woods around here where the deer lay during the day, and they come out and browse in the evenings and the mornings. So if you want to hunt these deer, we do have a program here at Highland Hill Farm. Our program this year is for you to go to our website, highlandhillfarm.com. On the website, there are numerous areas where you can sign up for our newsletter. Enter your email to our newsletter, and you'll be directed to our sign-up stay-in-touch form. Enter your, your email address, your name and check the box deer hunter alert and we will email you when we see deer in our fields. This is a dead deer that we placed out in the field to see what would come and eat it and lo and behold there are deer. If you look closely you can see a buck who was able to get over an eight foot fence in one of our areas. Now once the deer get in these deer are unable to get out. So you can chase them all day long if you want. But we hope you come and get these deer. Just remember, don't shoot our foxes. We do want our foxes. We are in constructing deer fences all over the property and your help in bringing us a fence post will be used to help us control the deer problems that we're having on our farm. But you can also hunt rabbits, groundhogs, dove, geese, or anything that's legal like turkeys, pheasants. But please, again, don't shoot our foxes. Our hunter access program for the year 2013 is as follows. First, you have to bring us a post to hunt each day you come. The post should be a cedar, pressure, or locust post. It needs to be 12 foot long by 6 inches in diameter or 6 inch square. It can be new, it can be used, it just has to be usable for our fence. If you shoot a deer, you get 3 free days. If you get two deer in any part of the season, you will get the rest of the season to hunt for free, and we give you a bonus of 25 worthless U.S. dollars. We do not encourage you to bring tree stands, because there are not many trees on the property. Most of our fields are open, although there is some woodland. This offer is good for the year 2013. Each year we have a different offer. If you sign up for our hunter alert on our newsletter, when I see deer, I will email you so it makes it a little bit easier. Some of the farms are fairly well fenced for this year, and it's very difficult for the deer to get out once they get in. But they do get in. And we have other farms that have not been fenced at all. So, sign up for our newsletter, bring us a post, and come hunt and help us control deer in Bucks County at our farms.